Hi everyone. Hopefully everyone is having a just wonderful, wonderful day. Say hello. Here's my little one here getting ready to do um, a clothing change. And um, someone had, um, several people had to, to the YouTube tag on um, um, what um, having reborns has kind of done for them or kind of, I guess you could say, you know, help their lives or, you know, what have they learned, you know, um, how has it changed them or what have they learned uh, from having uh, reborn dolls or collecting them or, you know, what have you. Um, and one of the people that I saw um, was, um, I think it's, I hope I'm saying it right, but I think it's have, having you on or have you on? Have you on? I believe. So sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. Um, but anywho, I saw the video and just um, really could relate to a lot of what she was saying. And um, so I kind of want you to do a little tag. It's probably a late tag. <laughs> um, I'm generally late with tags. But um, I thought it was just interesting. Um, but what I can say that um, I guess you know, having reborns has has what I've learned, I guess you could say, or how it's changed me or added to me from having reborns. One, I guess, of the three things, if I had to choose three things, I could say is that um, for me, I would have to say that it makes me more open-minded. Um, because, you know, crazily enough, when I was younger, um, I never forget there was this lady she was an older woman I was a child and we visited her house as kids and I remember um, she had dolls like China cabinets with, like the porcelain dolls and she had cats and these dolls and um, I just remember being as a little a child I felt like I was being judgmental I felt that I was being because I kept thinking you know why would an adult have all these dolls and you know and then lo and behold look at me <laughs> I, I not only have dolls, but um, I make them. So, you know, um, so I think when you get into this, um, not to say that I, I felt I was very judgmental before. I think I've always been an open-minded person. Um, you know, being a military brat, traveling, um, spending years in Germany, let me tell you, it definitely opens your mind. So you, you're open-minded anyway. But I would have to say it's made me even more open-minded. Because, you know, I now look at everything, I think, even clearer, you know, and it's more of the point of if it's not hurting someone, if it's what makes them happy and it's not hurting anyone, um, you know, who am, who am I to judge? I guess it's kind of how I tend to look at things a lot more. <clears throat> Sorry about the lighting. It's going to come and go because it's just been extremely rainy and gloomy, so it probably will brighten and then darken it. <laughs> excuse me, brighten and then darken um, before it's all over with. So apologize in advance. But um, yeah, so I think it's made me more open-minded. I think I tend to look at things and say, well, that's not so bad. And, you know, and I, I tend to think, you know, well, it could be a lot worse. Is this person, you know, hurting anyone or, you know, what's going on, you know, with me that I would be so bothered or worried about what someone else is doing in their life, you know? Um, so I think it kind of, it, it, it I was already open-minded, I feel, but I think it made me even more so. Um, and especially as you learn the benefits of what these babies can do and um, how they help people in so many different ways. And, it, and I was like, wow, I didn't realize dolls had that impact that they can actually help heal people. Because you guys know I take mine and I'm a volunteer, you know, at the senior homes. Whenever I have the time, and I've just been so busy lately. Hey, hi. Oh, that's so cute. She's a chunky chunk, guys. She's she's an infant, but I would have to say she's probably the size of a three-month infant. Three-month-old infant. Um, but, yeah, she's a chunky. Look at those fat legs. <laughs> you see him? You see him? My fat legs, everyone. Oh, no. Um... Yeah, so, I'm sorry, I got off, didn't I tell you guys, when I change clothes, I 
my mind turns to mush yeah I that's true um, so anyways um, yeah so I think it's helped me to be more open-minded and 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 just you know hey I collect dolls for Pete's sake and I make them so I think I'm kind of one of the last people to judge this is her little belly plate yeah she's my little belly plate um, so I, I you know so hey <laughs> you know uh, I think I've just I want to show you guys the front isn't that so cute hey oh you want to see my belly I didn't want nobody to see it but now you do oh yeah I can just check it um but yeah so that's the thing I think becoming even more open-minded because I felt I was open-minded before um number two um I would have to say the same thing as um have have you on or having you on sorry if I'm saying it wrong again with the confidence um for me because I have started to make babies as well I collected them but I also now make them I think it has really opened up my confidence level because first like I said before owning them is is one thing and, and you have to face or potentially face any ridicule or whatever you have to develop that type of confidence that says you know what um, I could care what other people think pretty much as long as I'm not hurting anyone it's my life this is what I choose to do this is what I want to do um, and so that confidence I think gets stronger as you deal with people who may be against it um, and things like that and so for me because I'm also an artist what I found was when I make the babies I felt vulnerable uh, because any flaw that you could ever dream of is there for the world to see you're putting that doll out and you're saying I hope someone loves this doll will find something about this doll that they like despite the flaws that they have because you know we're making things that are not machine made you know they're handmade so there's going to be that degree of error if you will but isn't that what makes them so amazing is because we can look at them and they have flaws like our kids have flaws like we have flaws as human beings and we still love each other and so there's a bigger lesson to that and you find that your confidence grows because as you're making them and you're putting them out there and you're facing if you will the potential ridicule that someone's gonna say well that's just an ugly doll <laughs> um, you know oh my goodness you know what did she make that doll with or oh my god you know um, so all these things that people could say about your artwork that you're putting out there you have to over time you develop a tough skin you have to because not everyone's gonna think what you made is, is the best thing ever <laughs> you know um, so you put them out there and at first you're scared and you won't show the doll like I didn't show mine for months you know I just refused to show them and then you get the courage up and you show them and then people uh, may make negative comments and you run and hide with the doll again and then you come back out again and then maybe you get a couple of good kind words and that's all it takes that's all you need to keep going forward and say you know what I can do this I can do this and you make another doll and then pretty soon you have mommies who say you know what I really love the work you do and and then you say wow thank you you know thank you I'm glad you can see beyond um, if you will the flaws I'm glad you can accept that so these are things that I think helps increase the confidence um, up quite a lot um, and add to your confidence uh, you know even more um, and then just finding yourself you know as I was making the babies I was finding myself and saying you know what I'm just like these dolls I'm not perfect but you know what I need to lo love myself despite any quote-unquote imperfections that I may see or what other people may see I need to make sure that I'm accepting who I am and love all the pieces of me um, so it's a growth and it's a development as an artist um, or I call myself an aspiring artist because I don't believe my work is that that good to be calling myself an artist but um, you just grow you you grow and you find out more about yourself as you as you enter the art and I and also I think it's the same in the confidence with collecting because when you collect you may like this particular doll um, like to me I think she's a dorp but someone else may see her and say you know what I, that's not my cup of tea and you post a picture up and you may have people who make negative comments about your doll well, over time you know you develop that tough skin and it's like you know what I like her I don't care what anyone else thinks I don't care what they say 
I like her and I like what I like and I don't have to make excuses for what I like, you know, and just even owning these dolls, you know, and dealing with potential public ridicule, if you will, for people saying, well, why would you have them? You know, again, you have to develop that tough skin and that confidence starts to develop. If it wasn't there before, it grows and grows until you're like, wow, you know what? Now with me, I take these dolls out in public. So I'm going to senior homes and while I'm out, I'm going to shop at Walmart or wherever, you know, uh, Macy's, wherever, <laughs> you know, you're going to, if I'm out and about and already have my dolls, I'm going to have them with me. I'm not going to leave them in the car. I'm going to take them out with me. Um, and I tell you, when you start taking them out in public, your confidence level is going to skyrocket. <laughs> Because you're first off being confident by saying, I'm, I'm going to do this. And you have to do, pull that confidence up from somewhere and say, you know what? I'm going to take this doll out. And then you have to pull more confidence in that says, I don't care what anyone says while I have this doll out. I, you're not going to make or break me. You're not going to destroy me. You're not going to hurt me. Um, because you know what? I'm a good person. I'm a loving person. And, and, uh, and, and I'm not to be judged for an object I carry. And so when you get out in public and then you're facing people and you, you survive, you know, you, you deal with any ridicule and, and you come back stronger than ever, um, it just really increases it. So there's so many ways I've seen where things, I'm um, sorry, it's the phone, <laughs> um, where things just grow and develop into that confidence arena. Um, the third thing, so I said, you know, confidence, I said, um, op being open-minded was number one, confidence was number two. Okay, the third thing that having them has taught me, I wouldn't say necessarily ta it taught me, but it has really, um, I would say, helped me was with my um, opening up to social media because I had had a Facebook page for like forever and it, I just barely touched it. I was told to do it for business purposes um, and I did it for the company, but I never touched it. Um, but getting into the dolls and then making them, um, you know, I started being more and more on Facebook and I started coming onto YouTube and trying to find out more um, about doing videos and, and things like that. And so it definitely helped me in regards to dealing with social media and seeing that social media you know like anything there's the pros and cons of it and um, but what I found is I have made some great great friends uh, excuse me people that I would say I would call friends um, through social media and I think before I would have never thought that was possible I would have never believed that I could get you know some really good friendships out of social media um, so you know and that's been absolutely awesome. I'm sorry, I totally forgot I'm supposed to be changing her while talking. I told you guys, my mind turns to mush. And it's almost like I can only do one or the other. And it's crazy because I can, I'm, I'm a great multitasker, but somehow my mind goes to mush when I'm changing clothes, baby clothes. It's just like, I can't think. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, I would have to say it's the three things, you know, it's just um, becoming even more aware and more open-minded, more aware um, of others and their feelings and um, and the other thing is um, definitely um, with the whoop, confidence level helping me get more and more confident I would have to say and then lastly is social media helping me um, understand social media and understanding that social media um, is just like any tool anything you use there's the pros and cons but I have been blessed to have really met some great people from people, other artists who've been kind to me and taken me under their wing and tried to encourage me or help me to moms who I, who's, who've adopted my dolls. Um, and later on, we became more and more like friends. So, and other aspiring artists who we bonded with. And, you know, as we go through our struggles of trying to get a better understanding of this, this art form, um, we've supported each other um, and so and then as a collector just as a collector alone and meeting other collectors who share the passion um, that I can talk to you about different sculpts and um, who don't mind seeing pictures of my babies <laughs> in their little outfits or hearing about me you know taking them out on